Aloha, I'm Dale Rosenfeld. How would you feel if your mother was in hospital or a nursing home and finally found a medicine that would help her pain? You'd probably be pretty happy. How would you feel if your daughter who had terrible seizures finally found a medicine that could help her live a normal life. That too would probably make you happy. And what if your niece, your nephew, came back from overseas with PTSD that debilitated them, but they finally found a medicine that allowed them to live productive lives? All of those things would be happy But what if that hospital that your mother was in would not allow her to take her medicine for fear of losing their federal funding? What if your daughter could not go to school because the school refused to allow her to take her medicine because they feared losing federal funding? And your niece, your nephew, living in federally subsidized housing was not allowed to take their medicine that let them be productive citizens. Back in June 14th, 2000, 21 years ago, Hawaii authorized the medical use of cannabis 21 years ago. But for many, because of federal law, it set up a perceived conflict. When the federal government said, no, this is a schedule one, but Hawaii said, wait a second, we have the constitutional authority to decide how Schedule I drugs are used within Hawaii. There's a precedent already set by Iowa, by Wisconsin, requesting written acknowledgement of this authority given to the states. We're now asking for that written authority as well. We know it exists, but putting it in writing will stop the conflict in so many people's minds. So we are now requesting a formal written acknowledgement that the listing of all sorts of marijuana, cannabis, as a controlled substance in the federal schedule one does not apply to protective activities in Hawaii. What does that mean for you? Well, it means that Hawaii would allow research at our state-of-the-art research cancer research hospital in Honolulu. Right now, they can't do research on cannabis. With this written authority, it would make it less worrisome for those hospitals. It would mean that your daughter could go to school and without fear of the federal interference, she could take her medicine for her seizures and go through and graduate top of her class, most likely. Your niece, your nephew, could live in low-income, federally subsidized housing while they work on getting their lives back together from providing service to us. We're looking to have that happen. We also want to see the medical board here in Hawaii get involved because this is medical marijuana. 
We're looking to be able to have our destination that we've talked about for Hawaii as a health destination, as someplace people can come and heal. They would be able to use cannabis without fear, all within the state. This is not asking for the state to export cannabis. It's simply to use for health, for medical reasons within the state. We are requesting in HCR 132, which has already been approved by the House and the Senate, we're requesting that the Department of Health ask the DEA for an exception under Title 21. We want to see that we here in Hawaii have no more conflict. We want to celebrate 614, Hawaii Medical Marijuana Day. Join us, would you? 10 till 3 on June 14th via Zoom. We're ready. We're ready to celebrate 21 years of state authorized medical use. If you'd like more information, please contact me, Dale Rosenfeld. I'm happy to discuss this with you in a conscious cannabis conversation. If you'd like to speak, if you'd like to present, if you'd just like to give a short testimony, we're looking for you to help us get the word out that we are celebrating 21 years of state authorized use. I hope to see you that day. Aloha.